Okay, I'm going to start with uh, practice problem two on page 221. Okay. So in this problem, um, you have a heat engine, produces 4 megawatts of power while absorbing 9 megawatts of power from a high temp source. So we're going to look for the thermal efficiency of this heat engine and the rate of heat transfer to the low, power, low uh, temperature sink. Okay, so we're going to calculate um, the Carnot efficiency and the heat transfer uh, out or the rate of heat transfer to the um, low temp sink. Okay, so here's our two governing equations. The first being our uh, first law of thermodynamics equation. Right, so energy can't be created or destroyed. It can only be transferred from one form to another. Or in this case, we have a rate of energy coming in, and we're going to account for it on the right, the left-hand side. And the right-hand side, we're going to have a rate of heat going out and work out. So these two together need to add up to whatever comes in, right? So we, we account for everything, all the energy in the system. The next is the efficiency. Well, the efficiency is basically how much energy, or in this case, how much power, the dot representing that it's a rate or it's energy per unit time. In this case, it's I'm writing it as a rate equation and it's power or were a power in terms of our case, rate of work being done over the rate at which heat is coming into the system. So it's basically how much of that heat energy you're able to use to do useful work. That's the efficiency, okay? Uh, okay, so here's what's given. Megawatts, I just wrote it in terms of joules per second just to show you that. Really didn't need to do that, but it just showed you the units where it's four times 10 to the six watts or four times 10 to the six joules uh, per second. And the other one's nine times 10 to the six watts or, oh, this should be a nine. So I've made the correction there. Okay, it's nine times 10 to the six joules per second. Okay, uh, then, so first thing I'm gonna do is um, find the, the uh, uh, thermal efficiency of this uh, heat engine. And all it is is the rate at which uh, work is being done divided by the rate at which energy is coming in. So it's just four megawatts over nine megawatts, units all cancel, and you're left with a thermal efficiency of 0.444, okay? Uh, the next one is um, to find the, the rate at which heat is being dumped into the uh, low temperature sink. And all it is is here's our equation, our uh, equation for heat engines following the first law of thermodynamics. And it's just going to be whatever's in minus whatever or the rate at which heat is coming in minus the rate at which work is being done. And that's going to be the rate at which uh thermal energy or heat is being uh, dumped into the uh, sink, the low temperature sink. So it's just nine megawatts minus four megawatts equals five megawatts. And that's pretty much all you need to do for that particular problem. 